ready to get away for the weekend? Let's go! Good morning guys, waking up to a very beautiful but very different New York view. Welcome to my little getaway. So I am in New York, it's a different kind of New York. We are upstate in the Catskills and I'm taking two days to myself just to relax, be with nature, read a book, um, just enjoy because in the next few weeks I'm going to be travelling a lot. For business, I am going to Italy, Spain and the UK. I'm really nervous about travelling again during Covid and this time is the biggest trip I'm going to take since the pandemic. Um, but I keep really safe, I test before the plane, I test when I get off at the other end and there's a lot of paperwork now so now because you can't travel for holidays or anything you have to have um, a lot of paperwork from the client who books you to get into the country to work and then to leave straight away again. So it's all really safe business wise and yeah and then also when you get to the country there's not really anything you can do because everything's on shutdown so there's no restaurants open or anything so it's literally you're staying in a hotel all the time until you work. And then you just get back on a plane and go to the next place. Before the pandemic, I was flying like every two weeks. And this is the first time I'm going to be going flying a lot. I'm going to three different countries in the space of a month. So I thought I'd take the time to relax, chill and just be here. I'm with my little buddy. Bless him. Look, I made friend I even made friends up here. So let me show you how I relax when I get out the city. So first up is breakfast. Breakfast is my favourite meal of the day and I know it's really bad but I do eat eggs every day and my speciality is poached eggs with avocado and sourdough toast. Don't have a toaster in the cabin so I'm going to toast the bread in a frying pan. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so next up is my poached eggs and can I just say that at Christmas I did this recipe for my grandma and she was like, oh my gosh, that's the best poached eggs I've ever had. So now I'm hoping it goes right so you can see how good they are. Okay, so for the poached eggs, the water has to be not too hot, but simmering a little bit, but not boiling. So a lot of people put vinegar in when they poach eggs or salt. I don't do anything. I literally just crack, put it in slowly, and I just leave it there to cook in its own juices. <laughs> okay, so I just leave that. I don't really know how long it takes because I just wait to see when the uh, jelly gooey stuff's going. It's all white and then I'm ready. Next, avocado time. So I don't have the right tools to take the poached egg out with here, but I'm gonna try and do it with two spoons without breaking the yolk. Look at that, it's perfect eggs, guys. So for me, a thing that I love to do and a way to disconnect from social media in the world is I like to come out into nature, go hiking with friends or just chilling like I'm doing here. I make the getaway cabin, took a day, two days off and doing a fire, reading a good book, going for hikes. Yeah, just merely disconnecting and being good for my mental health. But yesterday I decided to grab one of my girlfriends and just head out to a getaway cabin. It was open, I said, okay, let's go. Like, I'm traveling soon for a month and I just want to like disconnect from everything around me and be out here in this beautiful place. And it's great also because here there's no cell service. So you really can't even pick up your phone and talk to anybody. So, if you're going to take your friends camping, you better learn how to cook for them over a campfire. <laughs> it's killing my eyes with smell. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And the last part of my day is, of course, the American way, s'mores. Okay, guys, this is my first s'more ever. Let's give it a go.
Mm. Mm-hmm. I approve it. So that was my day. Good night and sweet dreams.